Canadians use softeners to make things sound more inviting and to decrease resistance. Hmm. For the Canadian workplace, this skill is really important to learn. Hmm. I'm not sure I understand what you mean. See, you just used a softener. Instead of saying, what do you mean? You said, I'm not sure. That shows that there's room for the other person to disagree or to add on. That was a softener. <laughs> I wasn't even conscious that's what I was doing. See, that's because you grew up here, Tim. It feels normal for you to use softeners, but newcomers have to learn it to be successful at work. I know, let's um, make it into a game. How about I say it the hard way, and then you say it the soft way. Want to try? <laughs> well, that was a softener. You said, do you want to give it a try, not let's play a game. That invites me into the context and allows me to disagree or to make a different suggestion. Exactly. You do get it. And that leads me to the next point. Canadians always try to build consensus when they speak. So they invite you into the context, like I did with the game, and then you agree to come in. So we have consensus. Hmm. Well, I thought Canadians were direct. Well, they have a point and they get to it directly, but it's done in a soft way that invites others to agree to work together. Paul Holmes says the four pillars of Canadian communication are clarity, conciseness, coherence, and consensus. Okay. The way to build consensus is through speech softeners. Hmm. So, are we going to play this game or are we going to talk about it all day? <laughs> Let's play. Okay, here's the first one. Um, how would you say, I am the supervisor, so do what I say, with softeners? How about, could you run through that process so I can see you've got it? High five! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've got one for you. <clears throat> How would you say we must extend the deadline with a softener? Got it. We could probably extend the deadline. <laughs> you rule. <laughs> All right, one more for you, Tim. Here's the hard version. I disagree. That is too easy. Is there another way we could look at this issue? <laughs> We should get paid for this. <laughs> and a final one for you. Okay. Don't lie to me. I've got the feeling there's more to this than you're telling me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give our audience a chance to practice, shall we? You bet. Go to the exercise called Practicing Canadian Communication Softeners and give it a try. I've got another one. This is wrong. Could we go over the facts one more time and check for errors? <laughs> this game is addictive. I'm having trouble stopping it. 